Hey guys, whoa, 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 hi guys, welcome back, we are on the far side server again today, and we are in need of a lot of ice for that, uh, for that walkway to the uh, Mesa biome, we need a lot of ice, and I am going to do something to help get that, hopefully, so I'm going to try to make an infinite water source real quick because we need water i want to make sure up here can spawn ice it should be able to because that's like why 100 and i think that should be good i should run more ender pearls because that's my only ender pearls get up there make it make it money missed damn it nice that was a nice fail there we go perfect oh come on spider see ya oh yay oh shoot that was a big fall. Spider, get away. No, I'm dead. Dang it. What a way to start off an episode. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was embarrassing. Uh, all right, there. Okay, we need some. We need some feather falling boots. Yeah, I know. Sad. Need some boots. Let's go. Gosh, that was embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. One. There we go. Two. There we go. Now we have to go on the opposite side of that mountain. Dang it. That was embarrassing. Twice. I. Oh, horrible. There we go. Let's go down there and get our stuff. Spider. What's up? Come at me now, dude. What you got now? Oh, you're dead. You're gone. Dang it. That was embarrassing. Okay, we got our stuff back. Um. This is one, this is on, this is two, this is three, this is four. And we got ender pearls and we got our water. So let's see if we can get up there. Come on. There we go. Good enough. There we go. Okay. Perfect. It did freeze. Okay. So if we go like this and then we go like that, that should be infinite water. Infinite water still freezes, so let's get a bucket. There we go. Let's, uh... No, for now, let's just expand this out a little bit, actually. Let's just... Yeah, right there. It's right there. That, that should be fine. There we go, and there we go. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to be using whatever the what Seth Ling made, but instead of uh, on a Starship Enterprise, we are going to be making on ours on an ice rink. So I need a lot of ice, because my ice is going to be my floor to my ice rink. And then we're going to have to have uh, snow underneath that uh just because snow looks looks you know because if you ever go to a uh, hockey rink it's white underneath so i want it to look like there's you know like it's white underneath the block underneath the ice block um so we are going to just dig out this i haven't decided how big i want it yet um how big it should be but we will decide that as we go which um it might look a little bit weird because the fact that this isn't like a square at all so I'm gonna have to kind of extend the overhang a little bit which might make it look just a little weird I hope it doesn't look too weird but you never know like this I'll have to I think I'll have to build up all this and whatnot and, uh, let's see. like especially over here I'll have to build this up maybe we'll have it like this area right here. It'll be a small miniature hockey rink. It's not going to... I don't think we're going to be able to make it full-fledged, full-size. But we'll figure something out. So I'm going to keep digging away at this dirt. Maybe go down another... Two layers, three layers, something like that. And we'll uh, show you guys the finished product. Alright, so we did a bunch of uh, terraforming and filling in the blocks. That's solid. I like to fill in solid... So if you remember, this was like cut off right here and it was like a drop off. Well, I went ahead and I filled it all in because I think this will be the size of the rink right here. It, like I said, it's going to be small. I haven't decided, you know, I think it's just going to be like this right here to where it will be small. Um, maybe something like, oh, snap. Don't want to die again. Don't want to die again this episode. Um, to where maybe it'll be, I don't know. I Like this will be the back edge of it or something and then we'll come down like around like this maybe 
and have it be like you know it's like i said it's not going to be anything big um you know the far far one will be over here so this probably will be a little bit farther but you guys get the picture it's going to be rounded off back here and then this will be all ice rink and then i think maybe right around center ice i'll set up the ice um the actual ice machine uh, to where it will be probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe nine wide. Leave an extra space for walking and stuff, getting around. So that's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna, you know, we'll work on that. I don't, I don't necessarily need that to be ice yet, so we'll keep it water. So I'm going to. I got to get a lot of snow. Like I said, I'm gonna fill one layer of snow up here. Uh, get all one layer of snow up here. So then when, as you guys can see, when you're down here, you can see dirt. We want that to be white. We want to be able to see snow at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and go over and get a bunch of snow because we have a bunch of snow already made, but we're going to obviously need a lot more. I have a feeling. So we're going to get whatever we have in this chest. Very nice. Let's go up there. Whatever we have. Nope. Gosh, dang, I suck at this today. Why are my feather fall like I feel like my feather falling is doing like nothing today. Alright, so we're gonna go get that ice. Oh my gosh, get away. We're gonna go get that ice and fill it in. I had to show you guys this. This is a It's like an automatic arrow shooter. Anyone comes walking through here? Oh good get hit. Can can you get damage by this? Nope. But it's like it's it, I just I've been sitting here for like two minutes now. <laughs> It's just interesting. just interesting. So we got the water laid down. We're just uh, the water. I mean the ice. The, not not the ice. <laughs> the snow. There we go. We got the snow laid down. And like I said, we're working on an ice rink. So I've been... Uh, I got the shape of the rink set out. So our pusher is going to end up being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. I think that was 9. 1, 4, plus 4, plus 1. Yeah, we're going to end up being 9. Um, now we got a couple of, we're going to have to put the, put the, uh, outside. I, I cleared out a row cause that's going to be the outside of the board of the ice hockey rink boards. Um, and then we got to decide exactly how we want to do this for the, like the red lines and whatnot. I think I'm going to put the red lines on the same level as the ice compared to putting it on the level of the snow. Because technically, you know, in hockey, the way it goes is they, what they end up doing is they paint the flo the cement floor is what they end up doing. They paint the cement floor white, and then they lay the ice down, right? They fill it in with water, freeze it, and that's what gives you gives you the ice. So that's why I put the white underneath. We can't obviously paint the paint any cement. I could put, uh, you know, white, um, white clay down there now instead of white snow. But snow is really easy to make, and I, even though I do have a lot of white clay. Uh, I just figured snow would be better because it's ice and whatnot. It's cold. And then what they do is they lay the ice and they put the red. Um, they paint the red lines on top, which I'm also thinking since they paint the red lines on top, I'm also thinking about doing uh, putting. Um, putting wool there. Because then they then mobs still can't spawn. Mobs would be able to spawn on the redstone because it's a solid block. Ice isn't a solid block. But we could put the carpet down because mobs can't spawn on the carpet. So I was thinking possibly red carpet or redstone. Um, but I'm more leaning towards the line of... Uh, along the lines of red, red carpet. Which the red carpet will go on the first, first spot where the circle isn't. So it would go along this line right here. And then we just had to kind of space it out, put a blue line, put a red line, put a blue line, put another red goal line. Um, I haven't decided if I want to put like nets in or not. I'm still trying to decide. If I did, I think I'd use, um, I don't know what I would use, <laughs> to be honest with you. Maybe red clay, but we don't have red half slabs. So, but we're going to sit here and I need this, you know, I'm going to need this. I'm just still touching this ice pretty much. Uh, I've thought about maybe even I got a silk touch here I've thought about even maybe making this a little bit larger and then filling it back in sort of thing to where I'd go maybe across here make it like that big and then take all this yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'll take all this out and then I'll fill it back in so I'm gonna work on doing that just so I can have some more ice faster 
Oh, no, you weren't supposed to break it. Nope, you weren't supposed to break it. There we go. So, uh, I will bring you guys back and get a little bit further on this. Maybe I'll, uh, go, I'm probably going to go make the supplies to do this. So, see you guys in a little bit. So, we're here now with ice. <laughs> and we got our ice made. So, like I said, this this right here will be the center red line. I, I, I decided I'm going to do carpet. Red carpet for the center line, blue carpet for the, uh, for the zone lines. Um, and I haven't decided what I'm going to put here for the, for the logo at center ice yet. I'm thinking, you know, we do have a far side quote unquote logo, um, it's, which is a diamond sword. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put a diamond sword here at the center for the logo. I haven't quite decided yet, but that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, but I gotta go, let's go get, let's go get some of that red wool, red and, uh, blue wool, put those down. Welcome back, welcome back, giraffe, we gotta go, we gotta add to this, it's been a while since we've added to that. Do -do -do. Going back. This is, this is my normal route of travel with ender, traver, this is my normal route of traver, travel with ender pearls. Look at them, they're floating in air, what? No, I'm just joking. Right, what are we doing? We are wool. I don't really have to come back to the wool, but um, I've been trading a lot of my wool to. Ah, shoot. I should go shear some sheep. I, uh, that's what we're going to do. So I'll shear the sheep and I'll get the wool. You know what? Looking in here, I don't think I have any blue sheep. I'm going to have to. <laughs> that's that's going to have to change, but I don't have any blue sheep in this thing at all. I have a bunch of other colors, but I don't have any blue. I just realized that. I have a bunch of, like, uh. Is it light blue or some color? Wow, I have a lot of colors that I'm not picking up. Let's see if we can get another color. Where's the blue? This, this, or is this all cyan? Oops, um, yeah, that's I, I have all cyan. I have no like blue blue in this whole pin. So I only had one red. So I'm gonna have to just grab a bunch of this white wool and dye it colors. So I will uh, bring you guys back. So guys, we are back with the wool, and this is our red line. Because this is center, so it's 43 long, so from here, it's 20, 20 that way, from here, or 21 that way, 21 that way, and this is a 22 from both sides, so this is the middle. Um, I haven't fully decided, so this is obviously the red line, like I said. Um, I haven't fully decided how I want to do this yet, for, this will be the goal line. Goal line is, is a little bit thinner, like in real life. Um, like it probably, it should maybe be like a redstone, but I don't want to do that. I, I just don't want to do that. Um, but this is the other goal line. Goal lines usually start like right where this, right where it starts to circle. So this since this is the start of the circle, or this technically is like the start of the 11 diameter circle. It, that's kind of, that's what I based off of. That's the center of the 11 diameter, so I went based off that. Well, actually, I guess technically this one probably is right here, but whatever. That works. So that's the red lines. Now, I haven't decided. Usually, you know, usually, it, the way it is, blue lines are closer in hockey to the center line than they are to the goal line. Obviously, because the zone that they, you know, you try to score in has to be bigger. Um... And I'm kind of, I'm kind of thinking this, you know, let me, let me just lay this down and then we'll see. I'm thinking this, no, let's go up. Let's, let's pillar up. I guess I could use snow. Either one would have worked. I had a silk touch on me. Would that, will that do? That looks pretty good. I think if you go closer, it's not really like any skating room in the center to where I like that. I like that size. That's a good size. So we'll, uh. We'll keep that for the the distance, the size. I mean the distance. That's a good distance. Good size of the neutral zone is what I meant. So that's four. One, two, three, four. And then on the fifth, it was laid. So there we go. Gosh, this is great. I've always wanted to make this in an LP. So there's our hockey ring. Now we got to put up the boards. I'm in a dilemma here about what I really want to do for the boards. Because I have this big square of quartz. And my thing with the quartz was always... I'm gonna, I'm gonna mine that all at once. But right now, I really, I want to do this with quartz. I think I don't want to do it 
with white clay and I don't really feel like doing it with snow just because snow does have that texture and boards are really smooth but hmm. then again you could look at these as being like puck marks and little whatnot in the boards but no I think I want to you know I, I think that's what I want to do at least let's let's look at it maybe maybe snow will change my mind maybe I will want to do snow I don't think so though I just I don't know I feel like I want to do quartz up here. I just, I feel like it should be quartz and that I'm going to do quartz. So I'm in a dilemma, like I said, then. Do I take quartz from there or do I actually go look for quartz? And like just mine quartz or do I see if someone wants to trade some quartz? I don't know. Anyone want, anyone wants to get rid of some quartz in a trade? So, I'll decide. I might have to chisel a uh, row or so off of there to be able to complete this, but I will, uh, I'll work on that. Okay, so we decided to mine from there. Uh, it just, I had to, no one was responding to my quartz trade, but now some people are, they don't have any, but they're curious as to what I'd give. Whoa. Whoa. That was bad. That was really bad. So, we are going to enchant a shovel. As you guys can see, I got 30 levels down here. Uh, from an enchant or from all that mining and so we're gonna go ahead and enchant a shovel with 30 levels my one is about to break my regular work one so that's what I'm gonna try to replace so hopefully we get some good well I mean that works don't really need fortune I have a fortune shovel already but that works that definitely works oh fall down fall down okay so we're gonna go put that away and we will go over there Man, what is up with my frames? My frames keep dropping, like, really bad. So, I'm going to go, I'll go back over there, and I'll be right back. Hey, 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 look at that. We got the ice ring done. Oh, yeah. I like it. I think it looks really good. I really, I really think it looks great. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks great. Let's, let's, uh, let's do a little screenshot action of this, because that looks great. That just looks great. I like it. I like it a lot. Man. Now we got to get the, uh, like I said, this is for a ice machine thing. Um, so that's what our next part's going to be. I'm going to get that set up and partly built. And then I will show you guys kind of the finished product. I, what I'm kind of thinking actually is build one up. And, and you know, I, you might be thinking, hey, dude, you didn't. Uh, I guess we can do it real quick. Hey, dude, you didn't do the uh, circles. You didn't do the circles. Right there, right there, right there, right there. No! That's horrible. That's horrible circle placement. Is that even? One, two. One, two. Right down the center? Yeah? Is that down the center? Yeah. Hey, that was pretty good. Not too bad. That's what we'll, we'll do it right there. But those might not stay. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I know you're going to say, dude, that's not that good. Um, cause they're really not that close. You know, it, it probably should go like right here. That might be a better representation. Yeah, that's a little better. Let's go. Let's do that. Do, 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 do. We'll do that. So we're what? Three from the bottom, two in. So let's go on the other side and do the same thing. And then we're gonna, what I'm gonna end up doing. So three, three from the bottom. Oh, whoa. What the heck just happened there? Three from the bottom, two in. There we go. Two in would be that one right there, right? Yep. So then two in right there, right there, three from the bottom. One, two, three. Yep. Perfect. There we go. So those are the <laughs> those are the face off circles. I guess it works, right? It works. Can't beat it. Um So we're gonna like I said, we're gonna set it up. I'm thinking actually what I'm gonna end up doing here is putting a row of them right here, and maybe a row of them on that side. Obviously I'll have to have them one above, so they're not gonna come all the way to the ground. They'll be one above. And, uh, we'll go like that. Um, there'll be, so then I'll start right here and, brrr, and just mine it out. So I will, uh, I'll bring you guys back when that's, when I have it set up a little bit. Okay. So hopefully I got this. I haven't tested this yet. So hopefully I got this thing hooked up correctly. Um, if you guys want the technical explanations behind it, go to Seth Link's channel. But what ends up happening is there's ice up there and only this row that, the water that's right in front of this row, so this row right, right in front of here, so the water that's sitting right on these ones, is the only one that freezes. 
So what ends up happening is this, this row freezes, and then the other two are water, or source blocks. So what's going to end up happening is the ice right here is going to push to this one, and then two ticks later, that's the, the top row pistons right up. Oh, you can't see them. But there's a top row pistons pushing down, and those pistons are going to push down this row right here. So let's go see if that happens. Let's just throw a uh, ender pearl over there and see. All right, let's just go put a redstone torch right here and see if that's what ends up happening. So if we, I hope this is right. I really do. All right, here we go. So we should have, what should have pushed down then is the blocks that were blocking that ice. Okay, perfect. Perfect. think yeah yeah okay perfect so this is a line of ice so we can go ahead that's nice that means all the that we can take that one out take that one you got to be careful here so that what that tells us is that all this ice are all of those frozen and now it's just waiting for for us to do it again so then the next time the only ones that will get pushed are the ones that are currently frozen if they're ice if they're water blocks they're not going to get pushed so then they'll they'll consistently be stuck like this so uh we should be able to get that down here to it'll be all four of these rows and then it'll come out to however far those can push and just, brrr, just mow them down and i'm kind of oh we got to put these back over here and i'm kind of thinking about possibly uh oh so the right where is the red line got to put it three from the red line again red line's right here so one two and three one two that means that goes there that no ah one two three that means that goes there that goes there that goes there and that goes there perfect there we go so then one over and one two three there we go so our red side now some of you might be thinking hey dude your face off dot your face off dots aren't here right there they're not there i don't care Shh. so that's gonna go like always guys this is our ice farm so now if we go do this one more time we go do this one more time okay so we're gonna push the ice that was ice form. Perfect. And then now that the other stuff leaks, so we still have our pads down here. So that's what's going to end up happening is it's going to drop them down, push them out, drop them down, push them out, drop them down, push them out, drop them down, push them out. And then once this gets far enough to where it can't drop them down anymore or it can't push them out anymore, it's going to end up just going to this row. So this top row will fill and then this bot, the second row will fill and then the third row and then the fourth row. And the only thing we're missing here is some sort of clock or some sort of system to actually activate this. And what I'm kind of thinking, it's either going to be a clock or a daylight sensor. I haven't decided. Um, you know, we don't need to wait a full day because, let's see, there's probably already ice. There's probably already ice forming up here if we were to look. To where, see, it's not going to take a full day for ice to form on these. So we might as well have a goal like every couple of minutes um which we'll probably end up doing so um i have to decide that but that's gonna that's gonna finish this episode today guys so like always i thank you guys for watching <laughs> my name's vlsi dream big